Hi there. I just wanted to share with you really quickly uh, some work I've been doing, um, some more work I've been doing in Excel uh, with the um, Trend Jumper FTSE trade plan, and this can obviously apply to any uh, market that uh, you you wish to trade um, or or any strategy. Um, and what it is basically is uh, I've been using pivot tables uh, for a while, I've done some videos before, but I just wanted to remind you how useful those are and um, the sorts of things that you can do with them. Um, very simple things. So you can see I've actually added um, uh, three, uh, four, sorry, more columns um, in my standard spreadsheet and that's simply a day of the week a rounded entry time, a rounded exit time, and a rounded um, length of trade time. So I've I've chosen 15 minutes for the for the entry and exit time here, and five minutes for for the length of the trade. Now, although the um, if you I'll show you the formula here for each, uh, and although it looks very complicated, actually what it is, and you can pause the video to check. Um, is it simply taking the difference between the entry and the exit time for the for the hour, for the minute, and for the second, and it's um, then rounding that uh, to five minutes in this case, um, and dividing by uh, sixty actually to get in minutes because um, I did it in seconds, um, and that's for the for the length of the um, bar for the length of the trade uh, bar. That's the most complicated one, but literally it's just the sum of the difference of the hours, the minutes, and the seconds rounded up, which is, you can see, ceiling uh, to the the nearest uh, five minute bar, which in seconds is 300. Now I'm sure there's various different ways of doing that, but that's, that's the way I uh, achieve that with this. So basically the length of each uh, trade is up to 5 minutes, up to 20 minutes, up to 25 minutes between um, 0 and 5, uh, 15 and 20, um, 20 and 25 minutes, etc, etc. Uh, it's a little bit simpler with the uh, entry and exit time. Um, all I've done is said uh, the time in the hour of the entry time and the ceiling of the minute of the entry time to 15 minutes and then no seconds within that time formula. So it's, it's not very complicated, um, it's fairly, fairly simple, uh, you just got to check your logic and uh, should be easy enough from there and the great thing about that is once you put it in there you can just copy it down and uh, I'll just delete that and show you really simply copy it down okay so what I've done there once I've completed those additional cells is I've done a PL summary um, so we've got some uh, trades here so that we can have a look at some of the statistics by of PL and I've just done various pivot tables. These are all pivot tables and it's just a really quick, easy, simple way of getting results in the way that you want to analyze the data. So you can see here I've just done uh, a one on the left which was uh, every single trade. Um, now because it's a two position um, strategy you can see that the the entry price and time is the same uh, for one two there, one two there, one two there etc. Um, when I go to the summary it will sum the profit at that entry time so everything that has that exact entry time it will sum so that's quite a nice thing to just sum each trade uh, and I've just done a simple um, conditional format on that for 
data bars and you do that by just selecting or you can select the column you can select the the actual cells and do that it's up to you um then I've done a PL by uh, entry time. So the the reason why I wanted to block the the time was for a better comparison. Obviously each trade is going to be a, a different second and so the comparison becomes much more difficult. Um so blocking uh, each trade off by fifteen minutes by by a bar, um a candlestick or whatever you want, um actually gives you a, a better comparison. Um and simply to do that, um, I've just put the entry time um, for the 15 minute bar as the row label, the profit, and then I've formatted that to average profit, sum of profit, and count of profit um, for, for each one of those. And you can see that um, the vast majority uh, of them of the trades taken here um, were taken um, before 9 a.m. GMT. Uh, this is done in Eastern Standard Time, um, so before 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and the I've also done another an additional pivot table here by the length of the trade. Uh, if you remember the the column which was by five minute uh, blocks of length of trade. Um, you can see here uh, it's done exactly the same average sum and count of the profit by the length of the trade. So you can see actually that there are fewer trades which go on for longer, but actually if you look at the average profit, um, they tend to be more profitable. However, that might might not hold out uh, once there's more data, see there's very few trades at, at this point uh, which are running that long but um, generally speaking if you're holding a trailer then it can bring the average up so that's good. Uh, then by day of week um, just one quick tip to get the day of week um, to to display properly um, if, you, if I just go back to the log um, The, the day formula is literally just equals weekday and then the uh, the cell and so to get um, it to display that in a day format all you need to do is go right click format cells and do a custom format and um, type in DDD for a three letter day code now for the uh, summary, I, I did a a uh, nine-letter day code. Um, there may be another way of doing it, but that uh, that displays the whole uh, of the day. Uh, so you can see. Okay, it's changed it to four. So there you go. Apparently, four works as well. Um, And again, average profit, sum of profit, and count of profit. You can see that it's been pretty effective. Actually, just one thing, one point here. Um, I added a trade um, today, and it's not updated this pivot table. Um, now, what you can do very, very simply to update the pivot table on Excel uh, 2010 is if you go into uh, Options you can just click refresh so that's in the data section of the options tab what if you're selected in the pivot table just remember that if you click off you lose that tab so you've got to click on to the pivot table and then you just can click refresh and you can see that that's actually matching with the totals for all the other pivot tables now which is good so you, what, what you can actually see is although there are more um, trades later on in the week um, that I've taken, um, the, the average actually is better earlier on in the week and even the sum um, is still uh, still better than later on in the week so that's pretty good barring today which there was a good trade on um, the FTSE plan. 
Um, so the last two um, were by entry and exit times. Now um, that there are more uh, types than this, um, of course, there's the the 200 um, EMA as well, EMA jump. Um, but these are the ones that I've taken so far, and you can see that actually, by far and away, the most um, trades taken were on the uh, jump line cross, um, and again by exit type. And what's what's good here is that you can see for the um, target two exit and the trailing stop actually they're they're quite similar now. That trailing stop also includes um, a few trades which have not got to target to but have exceeded the the lock-in um, level so that shows you how effective each um, exit is and then I've just done a summary here and this is not a pivot table so if um, anybody wants to have a further discussion or wants to have a look at this Excel spreadsheet and you remember come into the trade room, uh, the European session trade room. I remind you that it's every week um, on a Tuesday and a Thursday at uh, 8.45 a.m. GMT uh, for approximately two hours. Thanks for watching.